This is Florida Homestead with the Andersons. What are my four P's of prepping? Stick around and find out. The four P's of prepping. Pray, partner, plan, and practice. Number one, pray. Pray about what your specific plan should be. See if prepping is something for you and if you are interested in starting it. Are you going to be doing this by yourself? Are you going to be doing it as a family? Are you going to be doing it as a group? Are you being led to do something different? Maybe working with your community or a church group. What exactly are you trying to accomplish? Pray for understanding and guidance. Number two, partner. Figure out who's going to be with you and how that is going to happen. In my case, my mother-in-law is included in our plans. She lives about three hours away. Two of our four daughters are in another town as well. How do we all come together in time of emergency? In some cases, with lead time, this would be an easy process. In others, it will be next to impossible. Know these things before the event. Make sure that those included are all on the same page. Give them something to do. You can't be getting prepped for an encampment in South Florida and them getting ready for a winter in Montana. Everyone needs to know what to expect and what their part is in making that happen. Number three, plan. You need to know what you're prepping for. Most likely you are prepping for more than one event. The water you may have on hand for an SHTF plan will be the same water you will need for your well goes out over if your well goes out overnight. The bug out plan for severe storm may be the same as a train derailment dumping hazardous chemicals. You don't need a plan for every situation. You need a plan that works and that you can build on. You also need to plan on the fundamentals. I asked chat GPT the other day, what are the top five most important things to consider when becoming a prepper? I was kind of surprised by the results and agree for the most part. Number one, self-sufficiency. Number two, security. Number three, communication. Number four, health. And number five, planning. I'm sure everyone's top five list will be a little bit different. However, there are some common threads. Shelter. Are you staying home or bugging out? Very important. Under what conditions will this choice change? Shelter goes hand in hand with your food and water supply. If you are bugging in, staying in, then bulk water supply may work perfectly. If you're bugging out, then you will need to be mindful of what you can carry on your person and then have provisions to treat water or to um, filter water in the field. Same idea for food source. Bugging in, you may have a stockpile of food. If not, then you need to plan on other things such as hunting. I understand that lots of preppers seem to be ready for every situation. However, there is only so much you will be able to do. This is where it becomes important to build flexibility in your plan and then you will see how important each step is in building on the step before. Number four, practice. Practice makes perfect. You won't be able to practice everything, but you can at least have an idea in your head what may or may not work and how you plan on executing it. I understand that physically running through the steps may be important for some, but as I said, it may not be practical. Crawling around your neighborhood wearing a gas mask, shooting squirrels out of the trees may not go over very well in your gated HOA, but walking the area out with your spouse as an evening stroll, talking about your plans and seeing the environment will fulfill the practical aspects of this to some degree. Prepping is full of personal ideas that each of us must determine for ourselves. There are lots of things to consider. Many different situations that none of us will be able to foresee. This is something that as a family or a group needs to be discussed and prayed over to determine what works best for you. Above everything else, I believe the most important part of prepping is ensuring that you have a relationship with Jesus Christ and that you know upon know upon know that no matter what happens here on this earthly world, that you have a kingdom waiting for you and those closest to you in heaven. 
This is the only preparation you really need. Prepping your soul for eternal life. Have a great day and God bless.